Next up is Data Tron. I'd like to welcome Harish Dodi. Hello everyone, my name is Harish Dodi. I'm the CEO of Datatron, and at Datatron we provide predictive analytics solutions to financial institutions. Next bill and dollar idea, a projector that really works. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. So again, in prediction, uh, my name is Harish Dodi, I'm the CEO of Datatron, and in Datatron we provide predictive analytics solutions for financial institutions. Our team comes from an extensive machine learning expertise background, coming from previously who worked at some of the uh, cutting edge Silicon Valley companies, built very large data infrastructure systems at a very large scale. So we have some very interesting fintech use cases that came uh, with Datatron. Primarily, we are focused on two of them right now, uh, mainly predicting customer churn and reacting with customers with real-time engagement. So this actually helps to, because customers leave data trails at many, many channels. We actually help, our models actually help to predict it and what would be the right way to bring the customer back. The second part where we are really focused on is the wire fraud. Uh, this is where we actually work with internal customer data. We marry it with public data sets, which are unstructured, be it like websites, be it like social media, or be it anything else. Our models actually help to predict the wire fraud that is happening. So the classification engine that we built predicts in real time what would be the fraudulent or what is, what is not fraudulent wire transfer. There are some other use cases. We it's still a work in progress going on, but those are the primary two things. So our engine has the power mainly to collect data from four sources. We are using logs coming from mobile, uh, website, and call center. Uh, we actually process the data at a very large scale and provide uh, machine learning models that actually can be fed back into existing banking applications. Uh, and again, like uh, the, the reason why we are unique is that uh, <clears throat> we, other solutions companies typically they take quite some time to get to the first model and after some time they reach to 10 models. And the reason why this is important is just imagine like a ride sharing company, you know, like you have a machine learning model that can work for all of their customers who are spread across all the locations. But what if you have a machine learning model per city per time? That's the compelling one. So using Datatron, we actually have some of the core secret sauce, how we automate it. So we can actually reach our first model within 90 days, period. And from first model to 100 models, we reach so quickly. So there is no longer a place where you have some global machine learning model that works for everything. You actually need to have a machine learning model that works by time, location, and many, many more variables. So we actually reached from one of our live customers was like three variables to 30 variables in a span of eight weeks. That's why we are 10 times faster and better. So our typical client engagement typically looks like a 90 day trial uh, where we actually work on one specific model, do A-B test and show why the specific customized model is much better than the global model. If you have any questions, uh, uh, I can take it. Uh, so we also have Herbert here, who is our director of sales. So if you have any questions or any, any other things, please feel free to contact me. Saves up top there. Um, all right, hands up high for Harish. Yes. So model for engagement with the clients in terms of you know, how do you engage with the clients? Is it cell service or on-site? Or? It's an on-premise solution. Uh, so during the POC, it really depends upon the financial institution. Sometimes they just anonymize the data and give it to us. 
Uh, sometimes it's more like they would like to work with us on their side. It's hybrid. I'm wondering where you guys get your data. Presumably it's with directly from your clients. Okay. So we have uh, NDS, and that's one of the reasons I cannot show you the output, <laughs> is because we have complex NDS with all of our clients, because there's like custom, real customer data. Hi, what is the typical price point of one of your engagement, and who do you sell to within the corporation? What is the typical price point for engagement like a trial? I mean, so usually, it, uh, for three months, it varies from anywhere from $50,000 to $100,000. That's a typical three-month engagement. Uh, and after that, uh, we actually sell to uh, typical places where we actually get traction is marketing. Because churn is like very much related to marketing uh, aspect of it. And uh, the fraud is also a little bit That's a you talk about your go-to-market strategy. Right. That's a, thank you for asking that question. So, <clears throat> when we started off, uh, we were primarily uh, doing mid-market companies because that was the fastest for us to actually close something. Uh, but it took quite some time for us to deal with the first bank. Uh, but we learned so much during that time. Now, any bank, we are using my ideas. So right now, the currently the main three use cases that we are focusing on, it is sometimes not industry, it's really industry specific, because you can use customer churn even for e-commerce company too. So we are going mostly on the case by case, use case basis. So we actually are selling models for customer churn uh, and customer engagement and the fraud. Do you have a utility model, recurring revenues with your customers? Right. So we our, our licensing is typically annual at this point of time for all the large guys. But for the small customers, it's more like monthly uh, type of thing. So, uh, but typically the the financial institutions that we work with, once the POC is done, it's a, either like a one year or three year type of. Um, you're you're saying um, that you're predicted that looks uh, for financial institutions. Are you integrated with the, their existing systems or are dependent of their systems? Uh, are we integrated with their existing systems or dependent on them? Can you repeat that again? Sorry. Well, are you working with the existing systems or are you just taking data out of the existing systems and feeding it into your analytic tools? Oh, that's a great question. So are we working with the existing systems or feeding data into their... So uh, when we started off, we were working primarily on a separate silo type of thing. We were never integrated because obviously, you know, we, we tell that our model is good. You know, it takes time. <laughs> so when, during the whole POC phase, the way we present the POC is, you know, it's a very, uh, like, let's say, 0.1 version of the whole thing. <laughs> so typically, we don't integrate in the during the POC phase. It's a pure uh, place where we are showing the ROI of the model and everything. Once the, we cross the POC phase, we actually have some integration work that we typically do. Typically, that's like 20%, and that's like client by client basis. Please. And really, over here? Oh. And up top? Okay. Of course. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, you mentioned that uh, applications here that you've applied this to. So is lending an area that you guys spend a lot of time in? Uh, lending? Lending, like risk management or quickly assessing right. uh, on a web page, whether right. that user is a... That's a great question, and uh, that's a very interesting application. Um, the way we see it with lending is that um, we need like quite a bit of domain knowledge, uh, which is something uh, that, you know, we need like a good partner, you know. So even if, even though we got something, we were, we were pretty soon, we understood that, okay, there's quite some amount of domain knowledge involved. So we actually want to do such thing only when we are like probably a little bit after and probably when we get the right partner. Customer churn or these type of fraud cases, these are pretty much like, you know, you can go across domains. Uh, so we are not there yet. So we're out of time unless there's a final question. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.